I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. <laughs> and girls and welcome back to another rescue the perishing kids today we are looking at another part of Esther and we are kind of showing you a little more on what we did on our camp stay Steve, tuned do you want me to say a song for you sure <laughs> this is what I mean. just a light of light. And the weather shine. 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 
All right, boys and girls. Go Hope you enjoy. a little update on what has happened every time you try to do something they will always have obstacles and challenges and we have some oh yeah have our area has been flooded out and we place our tent on that side and we are praying that we get some sun to kind of dry it out we have moved everything out the mattress is sunning out the sheet has gotten wet everything here even my bible got wet praise the lord is only the end of the pages so it can dry out properly so if you have gone camping and a little challenge come come on ride out the storm Everything has its challenges. So we are cleaning up, packing it back. We're gonna clean the ground because you can see it caused some mud and whatever. And we are going again. That's it.
boys and girls I want to tell you another story but we are going to do this story in two parts this week I will say half of the story and next week by God's grace I will say the another half the name of this story is coals of fire guy Morgan came in with rapid step and in an impetuous manner his mother looked up from her work, then was a round red spot on each cheek and an ominous glittering in his eyes. She knew the signs. His naturally fierce temper had been stirred in some way to a heat that had kindled his whole nature. He threw down his cap, threw himself on an auto, auto man at, his, at her feet, and then said, with a little of the heat of his temper in his tone, never say after this that I don't love you, mother. I think I never did say so she answered gently as she passed her hand over the tawny locks and brushed away brushed them away like that brushed them away from the flushed brow but what special thing have you done to prove your love for me just now taken a blow without returning it she bent over and kissed her boy she bent over and did what she kissed him he was 15 years old and greatly tall fella a greatly tall fella with muscles like steel but he had not grown above liking his mother's kisses then she said softly, Tell me all about it, Guy. Oh, it was Dick. You know what a mean fellow he is. Anyhow, he had been tormenting some of the younger boys till I could not stand it. But I, but there are every one afraid for their lives where he is i told them i told him he ought to be ashamed of himself and try to make him leave off till after a while he returned from them and coming to me he struck me in the face i believe the mark is there now and he turned towards his mother and the, the other cheek which he had kept carefully away from her up to this time she saw the marks clearly and she trembled herself with sympathy a secret admir admiration it goes on to say boys and girls well she said and you what did you do i remember what i had promised you for this year and i took it think of it mother took it and never touch him i just look into his eyes and said if i should strike you back i should lower myself to your level he laughed a great scornful laugh and said you hear boys 
Morgan Stern preacher. You'd better wait, sir, before you lecture me on my behavior to the little ones till you have plucked enough to defend them. I've heard about the last imprudent. I shall become like a coward like you. The boys laughed and some of them said, good for you. And I came home. I had done it for the sake of my promise to you. For I'm stronger than he is any day. And you know, mother, whether there's a drop of coward blood, that there's a drop of common blood in my vein. I thought you were the one to comfort me, though it isn't comfort I want so much either. I just want you to release me from that promise and let me go back and deal with him. Boys and girls, stay tuned for part two. Nature testify of God. Yay! Hello boys and girls, my name is Yonika Smart and our lesson for today would be about the bear. Our scripture reading will be taken from Daniel 7 verse 5. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear, and it r raised up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and it and they said, Thus unto it arise devour much flesh. I have a teddy bear. It is very soft. I like to put it on my bed. But real bears are big and have very strong claws. They use them to protect themselves and to find food. They also use them to climb trees. Bears love honey. When they find a beehive, the bees cannot do anything to them because of their thick fur and thick skin. During the winter, they take refuge in caves. Their little babies, which are called cubs, are born there. They stay in the cave until winter passes. When the temperature is not so cold, the mother takes them outside. The mother bear does not let anyone near her cubs. When they have their cubs with them, they are very dangerous because they attack any other animal as well as people thank you jesus because we have houses that protects us when it rains i hope you learned something interesting from the story bye hi boys and girls we are reading from esther chapter 4 when mordecai perceived all that was done Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth with ashes and went out in the midst of the city and cried with a loud voice and a bitter cry and came even before the king's gate for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth and in every province whatsoever the king's commandments and his decree came there was great mourning among the jews and fasting and weeping and wailing and many lay in sackcloth and ashes so esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her then was the queen exceedingly grieved and she sent raiment to clothe to clothe sorry mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him, but he received it not. Then called Esther for Hachech, one of the king's chamberlains, whom he had appointed to attend upon her and give him a commandment to Mordecai to know 
what is it and what it was and hatchet went forth to mordecai unto the street of the city which was before the king's gate and mordecai told him of all that happened unto him and of the sum of money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasury for the Jews to destroy them. Also to give him a copy of the writing of the decree that was given at Shushan to destroy them, to show it unto Esther and to declare it unto her, and to charge her that she should go in unto the king to make supplication unto him and to make requests before him for her people. And Hachach came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Again Esther spake unto Hachach and gave him commandment unto Mordecai. All the king's servants and the people of the king's province do know whatsoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king, unto the inner court, who is not called is one law of his to put him to death except such to whom the king should hold out the golden scepter and he that he may live but i am not been called to come unto in unto the king these 30 days and they told of Mo, to mordecai esther's words then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not that thyself, thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who know it whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Then Esther bade them return Mordecai this answer. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast ye for me and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther had commanded him. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. 